search. That's where the joy lies and the fascination. Let the others scurry about gathering their contemporary bits of gossip. This is where the meat is found. Hello once again, sports fans. This is Fred Hessler, merely serving today as introducer of our program for the day. A program originating in New York City features heavyweight boxing champion Rocky Marciano, Gordon Bridge, handles the session for today, and one of the chief topics with the champ concerns a cut that Rocky received in the first Ezra Charles bout, a cut, incidentally, that was one of the key cuts of his entire boxing career. Dr. Vincent Nardiello did a great job on my eye. He uh, performed some kind of a surgery there after the fight, went to the hospital, and he cut out some of the scar tissue which had formed there from my earlier hmm. fights. You see, this is not a, a new cut. I had this in my ninth professional fight. I had a cut over my eye which required five stitches, but it opened up on me once before, and this time was the third time that it opened up. Well, Nadiello decided to dig down there, and he got this scar tissue, and uh, a lot of people say uh, my eye is looking better now than it ever did before. <laughs> so uh, maybe some of that plastic surgery has improved the rock. I kind of think so. Well, Rocky, uh, it, it uh, is another thing, uh, back to that uh, first fight with Charles, is the fact that uh, it was only the third time that somebody had uh, been able to cut that eye, which uh, proves that you don't easily cut or are easily hurt. That's right, God, and uh, I read in one of the newspaper columns where I'm considered a bleeder. Well, that's not true. I've only, this is my third cut, actually, beside the eye cut, I only had one other cut. That was in the Walcott fight when we accidentally bumped heads and I received a gash up over my forehead, which required seven stitches. But those are the only times which I have bled, and out of 46 fights, that's not a bad percentage. Not bad at all, and uh, especially when uh, you, we can take one out of there as being uh, one of those accidental butts in the ring and really not from a punch. Absolutely. In fact, you know, most of the cuts are uh, done because of head butts. It's very seldom that a glove will uh, uh, make such a cut that will bleed the way it does. And uh, that goes to uh, show that when you're in a real tough fight and slugging it out head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe, -to -toe, those things do happen. Yes, they do. After all, we're in there fighting, and uh, I know I fight by instinct most of the time, and we're uh, trying to have a clean fight in there, but uh, those things cannot be avoided. When I held the heavyweight title, they called me the Bronson Blockbuster. You'll find out why. Thank God for people like you that can keep this history going because there's history there. And it's history that has never been repeated. So I, I kind of hesitated talking to you at the beginning. But when I read the book, I changed my mind. Yeah, I'd like to see it do better in okay. I mean, I like you, John, and I, and I know, man, you... You put a lot of work in this, man, and, and I just would like to see you, you know, get something out of it for your efforts and, and the work. You know, and as a family member, you've written about things and interviewed people, things that I haven't heard before that were exciting. And I think that you're really, really getting it down. And, and I'm not saying that you're not getting lucky. You certainly are. Keep looking for that balance. There's a champion inside of you If you know just what to do Your dreams will all 